definitely tell summer has definitely gone now. Today has been one of the coldest days. Good morning guys. So my voice is a little better today. I'm not going to go on live me at all. <clears throat> For those of you who don't know what live me is, it's basically an app where you can live stream and you kind of gain followers and then you, you, you like people can gift you like little presents and then you gift them back and like you get experience points and level up. Um, and I've actually gained quite a substantial following in, in a short period of time. I think I've got like almost 11k followers on there um and i have been live streaming every day it's super addictive super fun i will leave a link down below if anyone is interested in checking it out <clears throat> anyway long story short yeah so i'm not gonna do any streams today or anything like that just because i want to rest my voice you know i don't want to be in this terrible pain especially not for my birthday sorry i'm still having the chest problems when i lift up my arms that's why i have to keep switching arms um, I'm just about, I'm in the middle of setting up my feed at the moment, so I'm going to do that. I have made a hot chocolate, I'm going to sip at it slowly. Guys, there is, that, there's good news, right? So basically, you know yesterday how I said that my gastro, um, he made an emergency appointment to see him. I have no idea what that's about, but I've actually been tolerating more orally, like more liquids. Like normally if I drink, um, a lot of liquid, like, well, too quickly, like... My definition of too quickly is like an hour, but if I, like if I guys sip it slowly and then I know certain feelings like when to stop, like when enough is enough kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so I've definitely been tolerating more, I haven't been being sick as much. Obviously, when I try to eat solid food I'm still horribly, horribly sick, it causes a lot of pain. Unfortunately, um, I still don't have my NGs to drain, so it's making my life a bit of annoying, like it's really frustrating at the moment because I want to drink. My cardiologist, like, is finally said, right, you need fluids, girl, kind of thing. So that's what we're doing. Um, you can check out yesterday's vlog to find out the full details, even though it's a bit mixed and match. But anyway, I'm going to set up my feed, take my meds and stuff, and then I'm going to go and relax downstairs for a bit. But I hope everyone is having a wonderful Sunday. Guys, I just want to say, I actually did a um, video that, if you guys watch the the phrase life, or the fries life, as they pronounce their name, but to me, when I see the word fry, it's F-R-Y, so I say the phrase life, even though I know that's not how you pronounce it, so Mary, if you're watching this, I am sorry, um, but yeah, guys, it's Mary from the, I'm going to say the way they say it, the fries life, um, and Basically, she did a blindfolded feeding tube challenge, and I actually did one. I actually ma made one, but then I wasn't... It was just all over the place. The filming was terrible because I was trying to do it by myself, and I couldn't set up my camera properly. So, yeah, I didn't actually upload that video. But if you guys actually want to see that challenge, I will leave the link down below of Mary doing it. I think Life of Stripes did it as well. Um, I'm not sure if anyone else has done it. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested, then definitely go check out the link and let me know if you want to see me do it. And I'll I'll refilm it. Um, I probably will put it on on my main channel though, um, just because it's more of a I don't know. Unless I include it in one of my vlogs, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah. I love you, darling. <laughs> see you. Close the door. <laughs> Guys, I can't even describe to you how cold it is. Like seriously, I am absolutely freezing. It says it's only about um 11 degrees, but it feels so much colder than. It literally feels like it's like only like a couple of degrees. Like oh my gosh. And I'm sorry for those of you who are in America and you guys work in Fahrenheit. I know 32 is zero, so I think we're probably around like 40 something at the moment. Um, degrees, as you guys call it, or Fahrenheit. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't work in uh, American things. So a while ago, guys, let me just move these out of the way a minute. I showed you guys this book. Um, it's a wreck it wreck this journal. I've got my finger because I'm holding out open a page, but um, I've barely done any of it, and I really want to get into doing it. But the thing is, there's lots of things that I want to add into it, but I need a printer for. We have a printer. We just don't have any ink for it. So I need to buy ink, but 
I've been collecting my hospital bands, guys. Actually, I did ask the nurse for a few, so I've got like a whole tub of them, like a whole container. But anyway, I've got like a few here. I have like six or seven here, just here, and then I've got some more in that container. Basically, um, a while ago, like if you guys watched my vlogs, like quite a few months ago, I was watching a um, series called Red Band Society. You can see where I'm going with this. Um, and it's a brilliant show. I really wished it would have like carried on, but it, they only made one season. I thought it was really, really good. Some people were a bit like, oh, like, this is not a true representation of chronic illness. Like, I did agree that some of the illnesses um, that they, mental and physical, some that they um, showed in the show weren't exactly true to the nature, I guess. Um, like I know there was a boy in there with cystic fibrosis and I know for a fact he, I think he only coughed about twice in the entire season. Um, and I know for a fact that someone with cystic fibrosis coughs a lot. So, um, stuff like that, but it was not a big deal. Anyway, long story short, so there's a page here that says make a paper chain. I'm going to lay them out on the page and show you what I want to do. Okay, so they cut, they haven't really all fit on properly just because um, I haven't cut them down. Because originally what I was going to do is I was going to cut them like there so they would lie flat. Um, and then obviously they wouldn't overlap so they'd all be lying flat because there's like a little ridge here guys. So they can't lie over that bit there. So I'd be cutting this bit off of all of them. Um, originally I was going to actually make them into like, let me show you with this one hard to do this with one hand but make them like an actual bracelet and stick them down like that but I actually think they look better like this where they dangle down um, and I'm gonna write the names guys in the show basically they all have red bands and um, there's Leo, Emma, Dash, Charlie and who am I missing? I'm missing someone. I really, really can't remember the other name. Oh Kara I think or Kira or Kara I can't remember it's something like that and there was also Hunter as well but he wasn't really a part of it, um, so I'm not adding him. I'm just adding like the main six. Um, but yeah, basically that's what my plan was, to have them all like that, write their names like that way, like in big letters. Um, and then I was going to have some sort of Red Band Society drawing or the the um, I don't know, like the theme, like the, the logo of the show, I guess. Like I was going to have that on this page. Um, yeah, so that's basically my plan. Um, it's going to take me a long, long time, guys. I'm talking years and years and years to complete this book. It really, really is. Because each page I have very specific designs for, things that are going to take a long time to do. But I'm excited. It's something to do. It's something to pick up, put down, you know, every now and then. Um, so I've only ever done, I think, like three or four pages. And most of those were drawing. Like, I'm happy to actually put some 3D sort of items in there to make it a bit different. Um, this is not an original idea. I actually saw this. Um, I saw someone else do a very, very similar one. Um, but not with actual hospital bands. But quite similar. Um... But yeah, so that's just want to show you guys that. And obviously, once I've done the page properly, I will show you guys. But I just wanted to quickly show you that. Um, Tom has gone off to the shops, as you probably just saw before. Um, I am knackered. I was going to do this journal today, but I'm just too exhausted to do it. So I'm going to go upstairs and have a bit of a lie down, I think. It's like, I'm really, really not feeling good. I've just got, like, the worst headache ever. And everything, like, my EDS is so bad recently. Like, everything's dislocating way more than what it normally would. And... Just like everything's aching so badly, and oh, I don't know. I'm just so scared that I'm not gonna be better for my birthday. Like, I want, like, this, like, Thursday's my birthday, you know, like, Friday I'm going out with my grandparents, and then, well, fr and then we're going out, like, lunchtime, and then Friday evening we're going away. We're going Friday, Saturday, and then I think we're coming back Sunday. Um, this was the trip that was meant to happen last week, but then, you know, everything happened where I was in hospital and everything. So, I'm just so scared that I'm not going to be well enough, and I keep trying to do things, and then I am pay for it, and oh, I don't know what to do. Like, like, tomorrow I've got a blood test, and then Tuesday I've got my gastro appointment. Like, I'm not getting, like, enough breaks, you know what I mean, guys? Like, well, I've got blood test and a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Like, oh, it's just so frustrating that everything's, like, come on, like, happening so quickly. I don't know. And then on Friday as well, I have my gastric emptying scan, so... I don't know. I'm gonna get some sleep. I think Tom's coming upstairs soon, but, like, yeah. I'm just laying in bed. I'm trying to catch some Z's. Hey guys, so it's a bit um confusing because it's getting 
sorry I've got like such a bad head right now um it's a bit confusing because it's getting um darker much earlier now um you can definitely tell summer has definitely gone now today has been one of the coldest days that we've had since about probably June no not before before June rather uh yeah, well before June, guys. This has like been one of the coldest days. So it's about 11 degrees, but it feels a lot, lot colder. It literally does. It feels very, very cold. Me and Tom literally spent like over an hour like cuddling each other under two like the cup like this quilt and then two blankets. We were both wearing like full-on tracksuits and like jogging bottoms and socks, and we were freezing. Like we were so cold, guys. It was, it's not even funny. Then we fell asleep from about 4 o'clock to about 8 o'clock. Um, yeah, so that happened and I'm still so exhausted. Um, like I said, I've got to get up early tomorrow for like a blood test and doctor's appointment and stuff. So I'm going to edit this vlog and then probably go straight back to sleep. Um, just because I want to make sure that I'm going to have enough energy for tomorrow. Like I don't want to exhaust myself. Plus my grandparents are coming back tomorrow as well. So we do have to clean the house. Oh my gosh. Not, well, not clean the house, but we you know there's like a few little bits and bobs that need doing. Um, Tom went out and did some shopping earlier, um, so they've got enough food and whatnot. Um, sorry, I keep doing this with my brows, guys. They're just I've got such a headache like across here. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm so excited for my birthday mainly because I've asked for a camera, and if I don't get the camera as a present, which guys, if I did, I would be so so grateful because they are really expensive. They're like over well over five hundred pounds for the camera that I want. Um, and the thing is, guys, if you are going to seriously commit to YouTube, if you are seriously going to try and make, like, something of your channel, you gonna you, like, you have to put in the money. You have to put in, you know, you, you've got to buy studio lights, you've got to make sure, you've got a decent camera, guys. You know, that's what gives your videos the edge over other people's kind of thing. That's what makes your videos stand out, like, the quality of them. So, I've already put my time into my videos guys I put so much effort into my videos or well, as much as I can muster up you know um and now I want to make sure I've got the best possible equipment you know I really want to it's hard like you know, guys know I don't work um for health reasons so you know if I was to actually make something out of my YouTube channel and I could produce an income off it that would be amazing but obviously that is not you know um that is not why I started my channel whatsoever I started my channel to raise awareness for chronic illness and I hope I do a good job guys I hope I do my best I try my best anyway I'm rambling I love you guys so much I'll see everybody tomorrow I hope everyone has had a wonderful day um, and I hope you all get a good night's sleep I love you guys also ignore my nail polish I'm getting them done this week okay